Aussies are raring to dash the Dutch, but does the excitement go both ways? To find out, let's cross live to Auckland. And our New Zealand correspondent, comedian, Kiwi and cake baker, Laura Daniel. Kia ora, Laura. Tourism Australia has launched a $3 million campaign targeting New Zealanders. Hey, New Zealand, it's Aussie. This is hard to admit, but you're pretty good at coming first. So go on, have the first icy beer off the tap. Because apparently you don't have beer. So, Laura, how should Australia be pitching itself to New Zealand? Charlie, Australia is already quite appealing because it's affordable to travel to. You buy a one-way ticket, you have a great holiday, and then when you want to come home, you just do a crime and you get a free deportation flight back to New Zealand. But, you know, if you want to pitch hard to New Zealanders, I would just remind us that if we want to take an overseas holiday, we literally have no other choice. Right. You've considered all your option and it's Australia. Mm. Yep. Uh, as soon as the bubble was announced, there was a positive case of COVID in New Zealand. Two days after announcing its travel bubble with Australia, New Zealand is now grappling with a mystery COVID leak. A quarantine worker in Auckland has tested positive, leaving travellers wondering whether new cases will burst the bubble. So who do you think will export a case first in the new bubble? Well, if our history rivalries in the fields of meringue-based desserts or racehorses are anything to go by, I'm guessing New Zealand will export the first case and you'll just claim it was yours all along. It's and, hurtful. And you guys killed Barlap. We remain sorry for the underarm mm -hmm. bowling incident of 1981 starring Trevor Chappell. I watch sports. Laura Daniel, thank you so much for your time. Thank you, Charlie.